back to my channel, Monica Jaga, and thank you very much, uh, my old subscribers, for coming back. And, and thank you for the new subscribers for stopping by. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. Today we are 141. And uh, yay! I'm very happy and I appreciate your love. Today we're going to talk about hair. And uh, what we're going to talk today is about how you can use baking soda or bicarbonate de soude in French for our hair. I will speak a little bit of French for my French subscribers. Bonjour mes abonnés français, bienvenue à ma chaîne. Aujourd'hui, je vais parler eh, comment j'utilise le bicarbonate de soude pour mes cheveux. Okay, for today, we're gonna talk about uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda or in French, bicarbonate de soude. Okay, so as we know, uh, the shampoos have all the parabens, they have fragrance, to have uh, the the di diphotamin and all these things is drying our hair so you can if you don't have a, a sulfate free shampoo i know it can, can, might be pricey so you can get baking soda to wash your hair and this baking soda it's good because it doesn't strip your hair with for with all the hair uh, oils okay so make sure uh, that you are if you, you you don't have the sulfate free shampoo for your hair uh, baking soda is cheap it doesn't create build up it's help to treat and prevent dead drafts okay so what you can do uh, with the baking soda it's uh, take one one part of baking soda and uh, three parts of water you mix all that and uh, you start from the root you you wash you wash from the roots to to the heads okay and uh, it's very good for you can leave it for one to two minutes and uh, it's very good to for your hair to treat dead ruffs and to prevent them to come back and it also lays all the build up in your scalp so that uh, when you, you use the new uh, product for your hair, it can uh, penetrate well and uh, it can be effective, okay? So you, you wash your hair, shampoo your hair with a baking uh, soda with water. It depends, if your hair is long, it, it, you, you, can, you, you add more, okay? It has to be a little, a little bit like watery, okay? So make sure that you're doing, you do that. And after that, you can apply uh, apple cider vinegar or the vinegar that you have uh, to rinse it out. So, to, so the benefits of uh, using baking soda to wash your hair is because it's cheap and it doesn't create build up. It also helps uh, and prevents dead drafts. Okay, these are the things that we need and it doesn't strip your hair out of its natural oil so because the sulfate free a uh, sulfate shampoos always strips all your hair oils natural oils from your hair okay so to use the baking soda uh, a diy way is like you take one part of baking soda and uh, three part of water you mix that and you wash your hair starting from the roots and work walk your hair, walk your walk your way on the ends okay make sure that you, you can leave it for one to three minutes and then rinse with warm water this one is very good to do once or twice uh, a month so that you can uh, you can move all the build up from the from all the products that you put to your hair you wash you wash with the baking soda to to remove all the build up okay make sure that you 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 rinse with warm water and after that you apply vinegar you have a vinegar you have a apple cider vinegar you use one part of uh, apple cider vinegar and four parts of water you if Parts means put one spoon, you put four spoon of water, yeah? 
so that's what means the parts i i i wanted just to clarify that okay so uh, when you put four parts of, uh, of water and uh it's just to, rem uh, to remove if you don't like the smell of the the vinegar you can add uh essential oils like lavender or rosemary oil to to the to the mixture yeah and then you rinse everything out with cold water it helps a lot to seal in the moisture and it smooth the hair and it add shine okay so it also uh, eliminates uh, all the freeze and uh, statics okay so make sure that uh, when you when you finish washing your hair rinse it please rinse it with cold water yeah i also, also do that to my daughter's hair and she's like oh mommy it's cold but i know it's good for her hair because it's remo it's uh, eliminate all the freeze and uh, and it's it remove all the statics you know the st statics when your hair is doing like shh, when you touching with the with the clothes doing like that shh, you know and that's not good for our hair because it, uh, it, it strip out all the the oils okay so and if you want to achieve these curls like this I, can, I don't know if you can see them properly like this without heat you use the flexi rolls yeah next video i'm gonna show you how i do that and how i achieve some uh, some curries or some curls or some curry hair with my uh, with my relaxed hair i i mean uh this this guys okay I'll, I'll show that for next video okay so stay tuned for that and uh please wash your hair maybe once or thrice a month for me i, I always wash every 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 week okay it's good to have clean hair because i know you know when you have dirty hair if you need you put some oils or you put some uh, leave-in conditioner don't penetrate very well because there is a lot of building build up so make sure that you are washing your hair clean and uh, adding some new goodies in your hair to make it strong make sure that you're doing uh, still doing the massages the scalp massages and that's to help to penetrate the oils or all everything that you're putting on your hair well and make your hair grow strong and and long okay this is my 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 goal i want our hair to be strong to be thick to be healthy and uh, to re eliminate the myth that african hair can't grow okay make sure that you're doing all these tips and uh it will really help us in this journey make sure that you are in your hair journey you're doing all the, be the, the best your best to to grow your hair and uh and and you're gonna see the result yeah be patient and you're gonna see the results so thank you very much for your support thank you very much my old subscribers for always coming back to check my videos i really appreciate that okay and uh i love i love you all and i'll see you in the next one bye